Hey Hurricanes, and welcome back to another episode of Canes All Access. I'm your host, Cameron Dobbs, and today we are full of superstars in the studio. We got a couple of Hollywoods in studio with us today from women's basketball and baseball. But kicking us off first, we have the incredible Blake here in studio. Blake, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for having me on here. Of course. Thanks for hopping on. Busy schedule, fall oh, yeah. ball, oh, yeah. finals coming up, but yeah. you made some time. So we're going to get right to it. You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So you have a nickname. Yeah. Mr. Hollywood. Yeah. Where does that come from? Uh, it comes from... When like, I grew up, uh, around like the neighborhood where I grew up, it was just uh, everyone would always call me Hollywood, Hollywood. Like I really don't know why, and then like kind of lost it in like middle school, and then uh, picked back up in high school, and everyone just started calling me Hollywood again. And then uh, Ronaldo Gallo last year had no idea my nickname was Hollywood. I was a freshman, brand new coming in, and he was like, he's like, you're Hollywood, and I was like, yo, that's actually my nickname. Like people call me Hollywood back home, and then now it's stuck down here, and that's what it is. Well, you're making a name for yourself, yeah. too, at the same time. I yeah. mean, it's it's the pizzazz of being Mr. <laughs> Hollywood, but you're backing it up because you came in freshman year mm -hmm. immediately, like All-American, multiple awards, ACC honors. I know every athlete, when they come into college, they want to make an impact. Yeah. They want to start. They want to be that player. But did you think it was actually going to happen? Well, I kind of just took it one step at a time. I knew I knew my position and my role coming in as a freshman. I knew the team needed me to step up and have a big role into the spring season. And uh, I just let my coaches and my God-given ability just kind of take over and take me through the whole way through the season. What was that mindset game to game, game, to game when your bats started getting hot, yeah. when you started feeling good? When all it was so fun. It was just so fun. It, it was a blast. The season is just so much fun. And especially last year, like the group of guys that we had and everyone was performing so well, like you, you can't beat it. Like you really can't. I was having a blast out there. And um, last season was one to remember for sure. One to remember, but oh, yeah. many more memories to be made because oh, you still got a lot more up. in you. Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts going into this season? Well, I'm really excited with the new coaching staff. Love the new coaching staff. We've had uh, a lot of changes. We have a new team. We have, um, I think it's only me and Agardo Villegas. Uh, from the starting position players last year coming back. So it's a brand new team, but after this fall, we just ended two weeks ago, I'm super excited. It's looking great, looking really well for the upcoming season, and I just know with our new coaching staff, it's going to have a huge impact on this year. You wrapped up fall ball. Yep. What was your favorite memory from fall ball this year? Um, probably the Orange and Green World Series. Those are always so much fun. We get a lot of fans coming out there, and it's kind of like a team rivalry. You know, you got the green team, you got the orange team. Um, you got uh, two team captains, which were Gage on the green team, and uh, we had Rafe on the orange team, and I was on the orange team, and just the whole week leading up to the series is just, you know, talking trash to each other, and, you know, it's all, it's all love, but it, it's so much fun when, it, when it's with the, your own guys. But I know as fun as that was, you're going to be looking forward to playing some other opponents. Oh, for sure. Oh, <laughs> come for February. Sure. Oh, for sure. Any games that you're particularly looking forward of to? Of course, University of Florida. It's always, always looking forward to the University of Florida, and they come down here this year. So that's going to be a fun one to watch. I believe it's March 1st through the 3rd. So everyone watching this, please make it out there. Yeah, mark your cal calendar is now, Kane fans. Yeah. Yeah. First week of March, want to be there supporting yeah. our Canes. What else are you looking forward to this season? Um, I'm looking. I, it's a really long season, and I'm looking forward to the impact that we can make just in the college baseball world because we lost a lot of guys, but – we're talented. Like we're going to be really, really good, and I'm excited to shock everyone with how good that we're going to be this year. And like, I I love the guys that we have. The leadership on this team is one to none. It's so good this year, and I can't wait to to let everyone see like th what we have this year. And you guys, your entire team, but you yourself, really have this energy that yeah. is just contagious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you see it with your smile now. You see it the way you talk about baseball. Yeah. Where does this love of baseball come from? I would say it's with kind of how I grew up. Like, I've always had a love for all sports. And then, um, but the smile and the contagiousness, loving to talk, I mean, that, that just comes from my faith. Like, I just love having that, like, just bright aspect to me. And, like, everyone's like, man, why is that kid so happy all the time? Well, it's because, like, you know, we're here every day. Like, it, what's not to be happy about? And I go to the University of Miami. Like, it is such a blessing. Like, life is such a blessing. I'm just so thankful to my Lord and Savior. Like, I really give all the credit to him. And it really means the world to me just to be here. So, really, you can't really have a bad day when you're here at the University of Miami. You wake up every day, and I get to play baseball every day. I get to play a game every day and have so much fun. 
I love that. Yeah. You're like, what is there to complain about? <laughs> There's nothing to complain about. It, you, you start thinking about the little things. Oh, I got a bad grade on my test. It happens. It happens, you know? So, I love it. Yeah. I love it. You mentioned you loved a lot of sports. Oh, yeah. If you weren't playing baseball, what, what sport would you play? I would probably say football. Football or basketball are my favorite sports, but my brother was a football player throughout high school. We played football all the way growing up. In the backyard, we would always play football. So I, I would say probably football if I didn't play baseball. Now talk to me. Season's coming up. It's yep. going to be here before we know it. Oh, yeah. We got this little Christmas-type break, and yep. then we're heading pretty much straight into it when we come back. That right into second it. second weekend in February, yeah, I think it right is. right when we get back. Exactly. What is your pitch for Miami fans of why they should come out to Mark Light this season? It's going to be a different energy this season, for sure, in the dugout with how we play. And I really want the fans to come and enjoy like the kind of energy and the kind of baseball that we're going to play this year. Because a lot of people, you hear a lot of people say, oh, it's so long. But the kind of team that we have this year is a team that's going to have fans engaged throughout all nine innings. Don't and be I'm a so fan excited. later. Oh, yeah. Don't be a fan <laughs> later. Oh, yeah. I don't want to hear someone coming at the end of the year. Oh, this is my first game. And after we're doing so good. No, we, we have really loyal fans. And I, I love our fans. I mean, we probably have one of the best fans in the country. You know, the University of Miami is a known school for so many years. All of our fans bleed orange and green, and I, one, I can't thank them enough. I mean, the fans, the fans create the atmosphere of the games. Well, I can't wait to be there. I'll be hosting all your games once again, yep. so I know they're um, on my calendar already. Yep. <laughs> We're excited for it. Blank, thanks for hopping on of the course, show today. Of course, anytime. Thanks for having me. Kane fans, stay right with us, though, because we have another Hollywood celebrity in studio. Latasha Lattimore with Women's Basketball is with us next. Tasha, welcome to Canes All Access. Thank you for having me. We're so excited to have you. Dive into all things basketball, your nickname of Hollywood Tosh, and more. All right, talk to me first, though. Basketball season is finally back. How does it feel? I don't know. Like, it's honestly, for me, a lot of mixed emotions. You know, just the thoughts of me being able to finally, this Friday, be able to hop in the game. Like, after a whole year of just sitting out, like, it. It's a lot of emotions. I'm nervous. I'm happy. I'm like sad because I'm like, damn, well, like I didn't get to play this long. But I'm excited to be able to just step on the court with the the females that I call family and just with everybody else that I call family, like the coaches, Coach Katie. Um, and honestly, I, I'm ready for whatever comes my way. Like I, I'm, I've been through too, too much to know that whatever comes my way after my next step being able to play, I'm ready for it. So. I'm Tasha, excited. you're pulling heartstrings <laughs> from I'm, the I'm first excited. question. <laughs> I'm excited. Like, I, I don't know. Like, it's, it's a lot of people ask me, are you more happy than, like, that it's all over? But for me, I would say it's not over. I want to just say, like, it's a next step into my process of be, becoming great again, I want to say. So it's, it's a next step, and I'm excited to take it. That's so beautiful. And though you were sidelined with your injury this past mm -hmm. year, you were still, of course, a part of the team and yes. a vital part, whether you were on the court or not. So talk to me, coming back from that historic season, is there now a different standard of excellence with the team this year? Hey, you know, different team, <laughs> different players. You know, last year was unbelievable, crazy, you know, all over. But this year I want to say that we have obviously different pieces that can do different things that bring a lot of – talent to the table and with with just what we had last year I want to say we are using that as I want to say a step or just motivation to yeah we did that last year just meaning that with the pieces that we have this year meaning everybody can do whatever it is shoot the ball play defense we are going to get as far as we can with the confidence that we had from last year with these different pieces and I'm excited I'm really excited I'm really excited too. It's it's <laughs> already been a it. it's excited, already like, been a fun season, and no, I know for real, yeah. there's so much more to come out of it. Mm -hmm. But you guys had a fun start to this season we too, did. with with the unveiling of the banner from last year. And there is this really special photo. I'll show it to you, and you can hold it while you talk about it. But Miami Hurricanes posted this photo of you, and it just it shows so much. I don't know, <laughs> pride, joy, emotion. Talk it to does. you. What does this photo mean to you? I honestly just being there in the moment standing there and seeing that we're being praised for our accomplishments and the goals that we have been through had made the history we made this picture for me i would say oh yeah i'm coming for the next one like we're getting the next banner it doesn't matter 
how far we make it or how far or whatever, what banner it's going to be, we're going to get a next one. And I'm going to be a part of that success, meaning I can finally play. I can finally do what I do on the court and bring my specialties to my team, which is really great right now. And with me adding a next piece, which, which would be me not being able to, you know what I'm saying, we're going to get there. And it's in my head. We're going to get there. This picture right here, for me, is, wow, we did that, and we're going to do it again. Like, we're doing it again. Um, there's no other words. We're going to do it again. <laughs> You're giving me chills over here. <laughs> we're doing it again. No matter if it takes us blood, sweat, and tears, we're going to get there. And, and honestly, right now, our team, although it's a new team, we've had the summer to, like, get close and try to find our, like, our communication, our chemistry, but we're getting better day by day and what coach katie usually says to us is one percent better every day but what is the one percent that you're doing mm -hmm. we're one percent getting better at our communication we're one percent getting better at how we communicate with each other on the court and off the court and one percent better and one percent more that we're going to get every day to this goal which we're going to come like we're going to accomplish it, and i know that and it's in my heart that we are I mean, if our listeners don't feel like they could run through a brick wall right now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. We are ready. Like, <laughs> we're ready for whatever comes our way. Honestly, we're we what we want to call it. We're underdogs, as in we don't we don't need the hype. We don't need all the excitement and all the extra stuff. We would love the love, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's we love the love, but we don't need any any excitement or extra stuff. Like we're we're. We're good as underdogs, and we're going to show everybody that the underdogs will will find our way to the light, and everybody will see the success. And, you know, the, the pieces and the the extra hard work that we're doing, it's going to come to light. So we're I good. It. I love it. I'll take the phone back from you we're so you good. don't have to hold on to it. Good. But, Tosh, this season you said you stepped back on the court this week, and I know that's going to be an insane moment you mentioned already. You talked about the emotions of that, but outside of just being able to finally play again, what are you most excited for this season? Outside of being able to play again, I would want to say just being around my team more. You know, last year I wasn't really able to travel to places, although, like, I could have went, but it was for me a choice where I had to almost – stay back and make sure that my rehab was getting done and my knee was being taken care of and I would I would say I'm really excited to just be able to just be around my team like loses wins it doesn't matter what it is like just outside the love that I'm getting back and yeah I'm like honestly I'm excited to travel around the world with my team and just win you know what? We're not even going to talk about no losses because <laughs> we haven't lost yet. And I'm not going to put it out there to try to jinx yep. anything. But we're, we're excited. I'm just I'm excited to be able to just be around my team as much as possible again. And you never know what the moment's going to be like until it comes. You but when know. you make that first basket or you block that first shot, whatever <laughs> you end up doing first, what do you think that moment's going to be like for you? I'm back. I'm here again. Like, my presence is here again. I'm going to make sure everybody knows that I'm here. If I get a block, a, a foul, a point, I am going to scream like, yeah, I'm here again. So I'm excited for that part. You know, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to be too high. Um, what did I say? Coach Katie told me this yesterday. She had asked me if I was ready to play again. I said, yeah, I'm excited. She said, don't, don't be too high and don't be too low. And that to me is just be humble and be ready for whenever your moment is is called on which i'm i'm really i'm humbled now you know what i'm saying i feel like i had a little big head before <laughs> i had a big head before but i'm really i'm a humble person and i'm gonna take those words as just be ready for when your time is when your time comes which is gonna be friday so i'm ready and you certainly know how to step up into the spotlight, though. And you, in fact, Alrighty. even have a nickname of Hollywood Tosh. It is so much so. The only Hollywood. <laughs> the only Hollywood. Blake, she's coming for you, yeah. so watch out. <laughs> but Hollywood Tosh, where does this nickname come from? You know, I never ever told anybody the story, really, other than when I had one interview, which was like probably three, four years ago. The Hollywood name comes from just me being Hollywood. I feel like 
I'm not a person. Hollywood means like they're Hollywood to the point where like they don't talk to nobody or just like extra. But me, my Hollywood is just the fashion that I love, the 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 the, the clothes that I like to put on. Um, me being out there, outgoing with everybody around me, just showing love. Like that's what I call Hollywood. And honestly, one time I was I had a conversation with somebody and they were just like why are you being so Hollywood? And I'm just like, what do you mean I'm being Hollywood? Just like, you're being Hollywood. Why can't you answer my message? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> See, I took that name and I'm just like, okay, cool. I think the name Hollywood kind of fits me. So I'm going to take that name and create it and create my own Hollywood, which would be just me being outgoing, my fashion, my attitude that's not bad, but really good towards people. And yeah, like that's just Hollywood for me. And I'm Hollywood. So not only rebranding yourself yeah. as Hollywood, but rebranding the word Hollywood. The word Hollywood for, for me, yeah. And I'm going to visit Hollywood one day. <laughs> I need to take that picture in front of the little Hollywood sign yes. just so I can make it official. Yes. Because right now I'm like verified, but I need to be you know officially verified. So I'm gonna take the trip one day. Gotta get the collab. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take that trip one day. Though. It's there coming. you go. I love it. Well, Hollywood Tosh, we know you're a star off the court, and we can't wait to see you be a star on the court Thank once you. again this week. Thank you so much. Of course. Thanks for hopping on the show and sharing a little of your story. Thank you for having me. All right, Kane fans, you better watch Hollywood Tosh and all of her wonderful teammates on Kane's basketball court this season. They're already undefeated. They're already killing the game. Yeah. So you don't want to miss anything more. But thanks for hopping on and watching our show today. This has been a star-studded episode in the studio. A couple more episodes left of the season, so stick around for more. As always, this is Kane's All Access. I'm your host, Cameron Jobs. Stay tuned for more and go Canes.